right, so the first thing we're going to go over is just how to throw a standard shot, because a lot of people mess that up. A lot of people stab like this, keeping their hand fully on it. The proper way is you want to raise it, and then I'm going to let go with these two and kind of this finger as well. And So these three fingers are almost going to come completely off the stick. This one might still be a little close, but for the most part, all three of these fingers are going to come completely off the stick, and I'm going to push forward right there. It gives me a very quick, direct stab. So, let's see. Glad we get that up. Oh, Jesus. We need higher. Higher. Oh. That's actually where you pretty much want to aim oh. at all times. <laughs> Let me go a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> and it's over there. That's pretty much where I mean. Okay. Every time. Lower quadrant right here. Right. Oh. <laughs> that was good. It was, it was a pop. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So the second thing we want to talk about is now that you have your standard stab, fingers are coming off, we're stabbing in. Learn that, like a stab with a sword, you know, you can stab right in, or if he's coming to block across, you know, you can hook here, same thing, you can turn in to get a better angle, even though you're stabbing basically straight no matter what, you can move around their defense. You can do the same thing with a down spear, and it's very important to learn. So, yeah, so first, if he's going to bring his sword in a little bit across your body, all right, a little bit less, all right. Now, I could still technically hit his back body, but if I try to throw this straight shot, it doesn't have a very good angle. So by turning my hand over as I throw, I can get a better angle. Okay, I'm still aiming for the same spot, but by turning my hand outside, it gives you a much easier stab outside. Like that. Now, the same thing if you were using a shield. Go ahead and pick up that. Now while he's holding this, often the best pocket is going to be this shield, or the sword side hip right here. It's a little, often the pocket that's just going to be made from where his sword comes down, where his shield covers. You'll see that there's a pocket right there. Now as such, you want to do the same thing. While you can throw a straight shot, it's much easier to block if you were to bring your shield across. So instead, we're going to turn our hand out when we throw and stick like this. This makes it a much harder angle for him to block. Because even if he brings his shield over that much, which would be blocking here, out here, I still have the angle to hit. 